happy YouTubers. Today we're gonna have a little fun with the auxiliary capacitor pack. pack. I connected it to this 1200 watt inverter and we're gonna connect the, the 12 watt 120 volt LED and see how long it will last. I also connected the amp meter to the input of the inverter and I have my volt meter connected to the volt of the auxiliary pack. Right now it shows 185, 1.85 volt because of the charge in the capacitors in the inverter. So I'm going to connect the water meter to the city electricity. Uh, see. Okay, light is on. We're at 120 volts, 0 0.06 amps, 4.9 watts. Now, I connected this uh, power strip. I'm gonna collect, connect it to the power strip. There you go. Sorry for the mess, guys. I've been working on a couple of projects. So, I'm gonna turn Sorry, I hit the wrong switch. Okay, we're at 14, 14 and a half volts. We have 14 and a half volts. Reading of the meter. Zero amps going to the inverter. I'm gonna turn the inverter on. Of course, it's gonna do a self check. at 14.3 volts I'm gonna switch it to watts it shows some watts I don't know why but here we go light is on 125 volts amps 0.11 amps big difference from the city electricity 4.5 watts and we have 248 watts I'm gonna change to volts 13.9 We have 0.8 amps going into the inverter and the voltage is at 14 point something and dropping three thirteen point seven over here So if you clock the time I switch the inverter on, the power strip on, and check the end time, you'll get an idea how long this power pack capacitor will run an LED light. But have in mind that this inverter may not be as sufficient as it should and maybe just using a lot of electricity right now we're at the watts 
amps 0.11 it's 0.4 amps higher than city electricity 120 130 124 volts 0.13 amp 12 amps four and a half five watts so this thing tries to adjust the voltage and give the correct amount of electricity. It at 13.10. My meter shows 13.2. The meter on the machine shows 13.1. Now we are at 13.1 here too. Turn this light away. Yep. Thirteen. Still point eight, point nine amp been drawn from the pack. Twelve point eight. 12.8 12.8 Still going so While this thing is doing its, its thing Let's check this one out That's a plug-in inverter Came on Connected it to the radio. I'm gonna make it low so you won't be in conflict of the YouTube agreements. You see, it's running from the batteries, cigarette lighter. The other one, I'm charging my cell phone. So that's on the batteries too. See how this thing is doing. We're absorbing at the 20 amps. The fan is running. Two o'clock. 86 degrees. I'll come back to that. We got 12 volts. 12 volts. Eleven point nine, eleven point nine, eleven point eight. Let me check the just two hundred and eighty watts. Uh, doesn't sound right. Keep it still going. Now we went to 1.2, 1.1, maybe this thing is getting warm and dragging more power. Around 30, around 30 volts coming out of the inverter, 0 0.10, 0 0.1 amps. Six point three, six point nine. It's fluctuating the watts. Check the. Hmm. That can't be right. Ten point eight, ten point nine, at one point one, light still going. 
10.6 should start beeping any minute now. Point four. I'm going down. Ten point two. Ten point four. There you go. Ten point two. Okay, there you go. Let's check the temps on the chart. 87, 87.5, 91 in the bottom of the machine, 93.7, 94 on the side where the FETs are. The fan just came on, 97 on the top, 99 at the diffuser, 101, 100, so there you go guys, it's just a little fun, see you later.